very special day, okay? I said the winds are a change in. I said that for a reason. And um, this person has been on the wake up call. This is her fourth time she has been on the wake up call. You guys, she started nine years ago. I have watched her blossom into such an amazing, amazing coach. Um, she has been elite eight times. So she came in uh, hit, hitting the ground running and she has not stopped. She also a few years back um, earned the leadership award, which every single year at Summit, we honor one coach uh, who has played a very important role in leading her team. And she won that leadership award. She has also been a Team Cup champion four times. OK, yes, she's Canadian, but that doesn't mean anything. She has led uh, four winning teams over the years that we've been doing Team Cup. And you guys, shh, today is her birthday. A very special day. It doesn't happen often where people speak on the National Wake Up Call on their birthday. So I really want you to give her a very warm welcome. She is from Lange Gardien, Quebec, Canada, Team Lioness Empire, Emily Robida. <laughs> Come Thank on in. <laughs> Good morning, everybody. So happy to be here with you and spend the beginning of my birthday. What a gift. Well, it's three hours ahead. I mean, didn't Damien make you breakfast? Or oh, yeah. We had the whole morning routine with the kids and I had a bunch of birthday cards and everybody singing happy birthday. So it's a fun day already. Okay. Well, you've been on the call many, many times. You've shared your story. So I want you to get right into this topic because we keep hearing from people that they invite, 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 you know, and that's like a more proactive approach. But what happens when somebody just approaches you about the business? What do you say? How do you respond? Take it away. Yes, yeah, so I'm going to start um, by looking back at when I got started as a coach, which was a little over eight years ago. And um, what I'm going to share with you today is in two parts. The first part is more about how I respond to people interested in um, the fitness products, and uh, what I do with my fitness programs. And then the second part is really about the coaching opportunity. So like many of you, I believe, I got started after having my very first transformation. So I did my very first program after I had my first kid and I got in the best shape of my life for the first time I actually completed a fitness program. For 90 days, I committed to the plan and got really great results. And then I shared my transformation picture on social media and people were asking me what I did to get back in shape. And I was like, you know, quick to send them to the program that I did, but I realized that it might not have been the best way to respond to them. And with time, I understood that in order for me to help them achieve their goals, I need to get to know them better first. So when someone approaches me and they want to know more information about the fitness, I first want to know more about them. And I'm going to ask them a few questions. And obviously, I always try to make the conversation super personal. So depending on the relationship that I have with the person, if we know each other well, or if we don't, like maybe she just jumped in my DM for the first time, I'll take more time and ask more questions to make sure that I can make the right recommendations. So some of the questions I ask when I'm talking with someone is, well, first, I want to know what they're trying to achieve, like what motivates them to get a fitness program in the first place. I want to know why they want to get started. And then I'm going to ask them how much time they're willing to spend in their workouts, because it's going to be different from someone who's like, you know what, I have an hour a day than someone saying I'm super busy. If you could get me something for 20 minutes, that would be ideal. So I really want to pay attention and ask the right questions. Then I'm going to ask them also what their fitness level is, because, you know, we might be talking to someone who's doing CrossFit or other workouts or has been super active. Or you might be talking to someone who just had a baby and they need to slowly start um, working out again. And then I'm going to ask sometimes if they prefer weight training or cardio, if they like to dance or not. So really, I'm trying to figure out what the best solution is for them. And my goal is to connect them with the right solution because we have so many amazing programs in the library, but it doesn't mean that because I'm following one, that it is a perfect one for the, for the person I'm talking to. So I really take time and ask those questions. 
once I gathered in, enough information, I know their goals. I know how much time they're willing to invest. I know what they're looking for. I'm going to send them two to three recommendations by messages. And what I do is I send them the sizzle video of the program that I chose for them. And I also send them a short summary. And then I ask them to watch the videos and come back to me and tell, tell me which program appealed to them the most. I really want them to make the decision. I want the decision to be in their hands. I feel like it, it's giving them power and they feel like I'm really making it personal to them and connecting their needs and their goals um, to, to the right program and the right solution. And in my invitation process, my goal is to get the people in my challenge group. And I remember when I first started, it was hard for me to exa exactly explain what a challenge group was. First of all, I was not part of a challenge group uh, before I became a coach. So I had to kind of figure out what it was. And also, um, I didn't know how to explain it. So I found a really cool video that I was using at the very beginning. And I would still recommend using if you're not sure how to explain what a challenge group is. It's called Ever Feel Like This. And it shows what coaches do and what challenge groups are. So you can find um, those videos. If you go in the tools and resources section of your coach on an office and you go to the product tools, you'll find amazing videos and all kinds of trainings that you can have access to. Because the reality, when I first started, I didn't know about all the products we had. I didn't know about all the fitness programs. I had only completed one, but I really decided to educate myself and go through those uh, product training guides and find out what they were uh, what what they were doing, like what they were good for, who they were good for. And that was a good way for me to, again, connect people with the right solution. So I started running my first challenge group and I had my very first clients with amazing transformation. And just like me and like many other people, when we get that amazing transformation, people start to ask us what we're doing and we might be interested in, in becoming a coach. So um, when they were asking me about becoming coach again, I was like, well, I'm just starting this. So maybe I could find a tool that could help me out. And I would use the video introducing Team Beachbody. So again, it's a super cool video that talks about what we do as coaches. And I would ask them to um, watch the video and I would uh, I would follow up with them after. So I think my my main point with using these videos is that you don't have to reinvent the wheel. Um, sometimes, especially as new coaches, if we're doing this part time, we might not have the time to create our own tools. And those tools are really easy to use. And also they're very easy to duplicate uh, with, um, with your coaches in, on your team. And then again, I would do the same process. So the most important thing for me, again, if someone's interested in coaching, I want to know why. I want to know what motivates them. And I want to really connect with what they're connecting with. I want to know more about um, why they're interested in becoming a coach. So again, depending on the person I'm talking to, because if it's someone in my challenge group and they know about Beachbody, I'm not going to have the same conversation. I don't have to educate them as much about the Beachbody uh, challenge group that we do. But if it's someone that I'm not sure they have the information about what um, Beachbody On Demand is or if they've ever done a program, I'm going to send them the video Beach Bo Beachbody On Demand Tour. And it's a really cool video. Um, it talks about our nutrition programs, our most popular supplements, the Bud Group app and Challenge Group. So it's really like a good way to just show uh, our prospect or the people that we're talking to um, what a challenge group is. And then we can also find uh, these videos in the, um, the Coach on an office and you'll, you'll see that they're very easy to use. So that's what I was, that's what I was doing at the beginning. I wasn't super confident. Um, I didn't know how to explain things. It was all new, but after I say maybe one year or two of coaching, I built that confidence. I knew more what I was doing and I started to create it my own videos, my own tools that I'm using. And right now, if someone approaches me about coaching, what I'll do is I will send them a playlist that I created on YouTube. So it's a personal playlist with personal videos. Um, so those are the ones I use for myself. And uh, they talk about my story and my team. Um, and then you're my team could use those videos or they could choose to duplicate them or they could choose to use the Beachbody videos. As long as you find a way that helps you 
get the, the results that you want. I feel like you just have to stick with what works. And that's been working for me lately. So those four videos, the first one is um, titled the person I'm looking for. So I really talk about my ideal coach, um, the person I want to work with, their personality, their qualities, their values. Really, I'm talking to the Emily of eight years ago, what I was searching for, what I was needing in my life. And this is what the, the, the first video is about. The second video is my story and how I became a coach and how it's impacted my life and the life of our family. And then the third video is I talk about what a coach do. And really, I just talk about the four vital behaviors. And the last video, the fourth one, is the one about how we make money as coaches. And briefly, I'll talk about the, the compensation plan. Done. So after I send those videos, I want to make sure that they watch them. So I'll ask them to come back to me once they're done. But to make sure that I can follow up with them, I have a system to keep me organized. So I either use the tag system in the Facebook professional page. If you're familiar with that, you can add different tags to the conversations that you're having. So let's say if I'm inviting someone on October 4th and I want to make sure that I'm following up two days from now, I'm going to add the tag October 6th. And then when it comes October 6th, I can sort that tag, click on it. And then all the people that I'm supposed to follow up with will show up. I can, I also use Asana to remind me of follow up. So I, I'll put task in there. So this is a, if you're not familiar with it, it's a web and mobile application that's designed to help you organize, track and manage your work. So as long as you have a way to stay organized, use the way that works for you. It could be Google Calendar. It could be um, reminders on your phone, really. It's just a matter of having a system that will remind you because, you know, you start talking to a lot of people. It might not be as easy to remember who you're supposed to follow up uh, and when. Other resources you can use in your coach online office. There's the document customer to coach guide. And the, there's the other doc, Coach Opportunity Presentation. So if you were to host a presentation for the coaching opportunity, so you can find those again in the training library and the, the, the section about recruiting coaches. Then when comes the time to follow up, I'm going to ask them what they like the most about the video. I want to know what they resonated with and what they're connecting with. And if they haven't watched a video at that time, um, I'm going to now make it official that I'm going to follow up with them. So I'm going to ask them, when will you make time to watch them? And if I follow you, follow you, follow up with you in two days, will you have to watch them? And then we schedule it together. Then when I get to talk to them after they watch the videos and they say, hey, yes, I'm ready to get started. What we do is we're going to go over the different options they have to sign up. And together, we're going to select the best option for them according to their health and fitness goals and also to their situation. So example, if the person does not have Beachbody on demand subscription yet, I will always recommend that they get a challenge pack because it's the best option for them. And I generally recommend the challenge, pack, challenge packs that are on sale, but I also talk about the deluxe option because it's a very good value for someone who would like to get more supplements and get a bigger, a bigger discount on the products. Now, I wanted to share with you uh, two of the most common objections that I get when I talk uh, with uh, people interested in coaching, and you might have different objections, and I think it's just a matter of finding a way to share your story and connecting with them and telling them that you understand where they are. But I would say that the most common one that I get is people are scared to not have the time to build a business. And I've been in this business for more than eight years. And sometimes they see me, I do this full time. So they think that they, they have to do this full time to be successful. So when they mention that they, they, they don't know if they'll have the time, well, I just tell them that, you know, most people build this part time and that if you have an hour a day, you can create results. That's the minimum that I would recommend. And also I tell them that we have a, a system activity tracker for the um, su success club activity tracker. So if they follow it, they can go through the activities within two and a half hours a day. But then again, they don't have to sit for two and a half hours. They can just work in the pockets of time when they can make the time. So as an example, they could work half an hour in the morning, they could work an hour at lunchtime and then another hour at night. It's really a matter of creating time for your business, just like you do for your workouts. You put them on your calendar and anything that's important to you, you schedule it and you do it.
Then a second objection that I get most would say that it's sometimes people are scared to post on social. So they will tell me, oh, they're scared of being judged. And um, I'll tell them that I totally understand that it's something I've been through myself. Um, it's normal to be scared a little. And when you start something new, it's, it's totally normal to be afraid. And I tell them that I've received so many nice messages and comments in, in, since I became a coach. And it's so rewarding. Like it's really minimum if you'll face any judgment or negative comments. But really, I try to tell them also that being a coach is also choosing to work on yourself and invest in your personal development. And I feel like it's a great opportunity for you to learn to face your fears by choosing um, to to face your fears. So really, um, that's one of the things that, that I would say for, uh, for the objection. So that was my first part for all the training. I think I went through all my points. You did. And I was trying to keep up with you because I was also listening. I want to ask you a question that we didn't rehearse. And that is when you were a, a new coach, just starting out, was it harder to tell the people that you know what you were doing? Was it harder to talk to your family and your friends and easier to talk to strangers? Tell, tell us why. Yes, totally. Absolutely. I, I'm not sure why it is, but I think what it allowed me to do is to build my cold market, develop my cold market even more right at the beginning because I felt more comfortable. Um, yeah. So, and I think it's a very common a fear that we have. It, it seems easier to go talk to strangers, which is kind of interesting. <laughs> what, you know what you did today that seemed very fundamental and, and that is to show how you go find the tools. Okay. Yes. This, this was just to show that you don't have to reinvent the wheel but after you know eight years, nine years, you have created your own uh, videos that are about you. But if you <laughs> want to teach people about the business, how you earn, how it works, how you make money, I mean, those are things that people ask and you don't want to trip over your words. We have the tools for you to share. And then come see me when you're finished talking about it and we'll talk about how fun that snapping video is i can't believe what yes. my hair looked like i did that video <laughs> a few years ago um but anyway so so this was really really helpful and i'm i'm so glad that you did this because um people are scared to go in the coach online office because there's so much stuff but you know what we just reorganized it so you go boom right to product tools tools that you can share kits product tool kits um and a training library filled with, filled with stuff so uh, thank you. Let's move the call forward because I believe that you have been here for a reason all these years. You have decided that this is the job for you. You are so good at it. Um, what do you think in all the years has kept you coaching? What has been a key factor in your success? Well, this is not what I wrote, but because you're asking me the question right now, I think it really starts with your why, your deep motivation. And again, this morning, coming to the national wake up call, I was holding my baby girl, Lily, and I was telling her, she's going to be three months tomorrow. I was telling her, you know, I'm doing this for you and I'm doing this for all the kids. So it really starts with your deep motivation to, to want to do something for your life and for the people that you love. When it comes to how I built the business, I really focused on my personal development and my personal and professional de development that I do intentionally, and that is um, coherent with my goals and what I need. And when I first started coaching, the first book that I read, that's a book that I had bought before, but I, ne I, I didn't finish reading it. And when I found out the importance of uh, personal development that I had to do it, that was part of my vital behaviors, I read this book. This is the French version, Le Succès Selon Jack. It's The Success Principles by Jack Canfield. And it has 64 principles that I right away apply to my business and my life. And for me, it was a really, really good guide. And the first principle, principle for success says that you have to take 100 uh, responsibility for your life. And I, when I got that, I was like, okay, I want to change my life. I want to improve my life with this business. I have to put the excuses to the side. I have to take ownership and I need to be willing to do the things that I need to do in order to success. So I think that taking ownership, being a hundred responsible for my life and for my success in the business 
was really a key factor, but also having the self-discipline to show up every day, even on the days that I didn't feel like it or was not as motivated. I showed up. Consistency has been such a key factor. So having the self-discipline to do the things that you need to do, even when you don't feel like it, because you, you want to get to the goal and to get to the goal, you have to be disciplined enough to show up every day. And the, I learned that with fitness first. Like I was not, I never considered myself a disciplined person, but then I fell in love with a fitness program that I could do at home. And for the first time I worked out for six times a week for all these weeks and I got amazing results. So I believe that the plan worked for me because I worked the plan and I had a winning plan in my hands. Beachbody knew what to do with the calendar. They knew uh, what to do with the fitness. And then when I got into this business, I said, hey, I had success with my fitness. Beachbody had a good plan for me. What's the plan for my business? The plan for my business was the vital, be vital behaviors every day. And I trusted that plan and I just did them every day and showed up for my business just like I do for my fitness. And I feel like that consistency and that self-discipline has really helped me create the, create the businesses that I have and transform my life and the life of our family. You know, I'm, um, I'm listening to you and I'm thinking, so personal development has played a big role. Would, would you say what year did you really like go, okay, this personal mindset stuff, I need to work on it. What I think it was pretty much from the beginning. Cause I knew, I knew that, I had to invest in myself to create more value in myself so it could be vo more valuable to other people. So I made that, a, I, you know, I told myself I might not be the best seller. I might not be the best at this, but I'll be the best at working on myself. And I always ask those questions. What are my goals? Where am I going to? What do I need to get there? What do I need to improve in my way? And how I live my life on a daily basis and my daily actions and my behaviors. And I always refer back to me and how I can invest in myself because that's the only thing I really, I have control on is what I do every day with my daily habits, the choices that I make, how I feed my mind and how I show up in the world. Very, very well said. You know, Darren put superstars on stage over the weekend, um, people who had achieved 15 star in 2020 and in 2021. And it was incredible to see uh, these coaches standing on stage, kind of looking at each other, just going, wow, you're someone I've been admiring. And they were like, well, you're someone I've been admiring. And so it just goes to show you that everybody's working on their own stuff while being inspired by others, but not mm -hmm. imitating them, but imitating their work on personal mindset growth and that sounds like what you did. You you worked on Emily. <laughs> yeah, I worked on Emily, but I studied the people that I admired exactly. And I looked at their ha behaviors and their actions. What were they doing? How are they living their life? And then I got inspired to implement that, but with the Emily twist. <laughs> yeah. And, you know, I just also want to say something to the whole audience. English is not your first language, right? No. You no, are so so well i mean Thank you. that was a, that was another challenge for me today i was like okay i could do this in french like this but yes. <laughs> i know i know and we interviewed you years ago and we're like can you talk about team cup in english and you're like oh, eh ben, mais non. and then i was like we'll give you cue cards you know we'll give you <laughs> a teleprompter but that was and another goal of mine you know i wanted to improve and become better also in english i think it's such a valuable thing to be able to speak in another language. So if you haven't noticed, my shirt says J'aime Team Beach Buddy. Love I it. love Team Beach Buddy. I love it. And I speak French, so I'm a size small or medium. Um, <laughs> I just want to say happy birthday. This was a great call. I'm looking on Facebook right now and people are asking you to go back and answer some questions. So if you can go back to the 411 page, uh, thank you, thank you, thank you for doing this topic at this time on your birthday in English from Canada. <laughs> thank you so much for having me. The thank winds you. are changing. And Emily, congratulations on, on, on all your success. Thank you so much. Merci beaucoup. Thank you. <laughs> Have a good one. I'll put the lower third there. Um, all right, everybody, we are done with the call. Next week, I believe, is a holiday, but we are still live on October 11th. 
Uh, this is the week. This is the week that you make change happen. The winds are a changing, right, Darren? And um, also because it's time. It's times that our souls get nourished again. Make it happen. Connect. Pick up the phone or reach out to somebody that you haven't connected in a long time. And you will realize how much you needed that. Not how much they needed it. How much you need it. Um, all right. That's it for the wake-up call. Make it a great week, everybody. Bye-bye.